Hey guys, we're here with some NBA. Oh. <laughs> Already went in there. So he has Dwayne Wade as his point guard. Yeah, I gotta really fix that power forward situation up. Have Marcus Camby there. I only put him there for hope for a good defensive rebounds, but he hasn't really done that much. I'm hoping to get a good power forward soon. Taking on Denver. And now a quick check of our starting lineups for both teams. And the guys checking out Marcus Kent. What can we expect from him? And you know what I love about All him? Right. Oh. Just the way he works with his young teammates. The positive attitude that he instills in his club. You know, inexperienced okay. players, young awesome. players have trouble getting out of slumps once they're in them. But he's determined not to let that happen. Wade drives in. Three pointer. Hayward. That's good. God dang it. Hayward's got himself on the board with three there. They really can't allow him too many open looks like that. I mean, that's just inviting trouble. The kick out to Rose. He dishes it to DeRosa. Back to Rose. Three pointer. No, Derek Rose. God dang it. Cannot believe that. What the heck was that? It's such bull crap. That is his first foul of the game. Wow, how'd he get that? And Stevenson kicks to Hayward. From outside the arc. Not really the start they wanted. They missed three of their first four shots from the field. Wow, I'm feeling lagged this game. That's his first foul. Jordan kicks to DeRozan. Ah, oh, really, man? You know, that was all about anticipation. Just reading that play beautifully. Get that. Get that. Play. And they're now one for five to start this game. So having trouble finding any offensive rhythm. Philadelphia shooting their first free throw. First trip to the line in this one. The free throw. Everything the seems to be late this time. So he hits one yep. two from the strike. Dude, Derrick Rose has not impressed me on my team. Kicks it out to Bargnani. No good on the three. Here's Kemp. The drive by Jordan. Oh, come on. Bull crap. Excellent toughness to get in there and make a play. I love that kind of work. Wade kicks to Hayward. To the left wing. Wait again. Throws. And oh, come on. He misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. That one on Rose. Denver shooting their first free throws of the game. And that one falls for Wade. So he gets them both. Uh. On defense, Denver. Jordan the best to Rose. Come on, man. And Bargnani sends it. Oh, what the freaking heck, man? Inside. Stevenson. What the heck? Why can't my freaking Derrick Rose make any shots? That old lady fence. Just watching him go park right by. I think we might be seeing which team is ready to take control of this game. Yeah, that's a dunk. That I'm not shooting with Derrick Rose anymore. Screw it. And Philadelphia making a change here. McGee's checked in. Here's DeRozan. Oh my God, dude! <laughs> Every one of my shots is like a C or a D. It's so stupid. What the frick's wrong with this freaking match? Salt must be going towards his way. Rose attacking from deep Jordan. <laughs> wow. Just wow. And he gets it to go. Oh my god. You know what? Screw this. They're playing steadily in all aspects of the game, Steve. You're exactly right. Oh my god. Dude! Denver takes possession. 
Oh my god! This is my player's fault, not mine! Come on! Back to Lucas. Wow, man. Here's Hayward. And he uses both hands to jam it in. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. You gotta be freaking kidding me. It's hard to imagine they'll be able to stay as hot as they've been so far, but if they can, watch out. And here in the first quarter, with a little over three and a half minutes played, the drive by Jordan somehow ignores the tight D and gets the layup. Really aggressive play, taking it to the rim against the big man. I tell you what, I love that fearless attitude. On its way from oh, come on. Why does he make every freaking three, but I can't? With a quick shot. He's looking pretty confident out there. I mean, five of seven so far from the field. He's feeling it. Rose kicks to oh, come on. I wanted to pop fake. Oh, my God. <sighs> They've been beating this club to a lot of losing. <sighs> Love the work ethic they've come out of the locker room with. And it's McGee with the jam. Boy, the kind of moments you love to see. Excellent defense leading to a dunk at the other end. Clark, you got to marvel at the transition game when they've got it clicking. It's really explosive. High octane for sure. Oof. And turning defensive pressure into offensive opportunities. That's what it's all about. Here's Jordan. Oh, my God. And pushing it up. Here's Denver. Stevenson with the ball. Easy call there. No question about that one. You could hear the impact. Uh. And guys, what do you think about the hustle stats here for Denver? Well, a great hustle uh, defensively through two quarters of play. Contesting everything. Starting to rack up those block shots, guys. You know, another factor in their offense so far has been their ability to convert and score off turnovers. Catching up on the changes for Philadelphia. Mike there we go, finally. For JaVale McGee. Chris Copeland comes in for DeMar DeRozan. And it's Price in for Michael Jordan. Stevenson. Shot is off. Great defense that time for Nicholson. Poor shooting from him this quarter. His shooting percentage nowhere near where he'd like it to be. His eyes were wide open there, guys. Excellent vision to see they had an open shot outside and get it there. Deflects the pass. And the whistle blows on the back. Deserves it. He went over and back. Freaking deserves it. Losing their concentration here, guys. Some sloppy play going on right now. Yep, two turnovers in a row for them. That's a recipe for disaster. Denver making a switch here. Johnson's checked in. Now, here's Price. And now, running up the court, Lewis pushing it up. Oh, my God. Dragic has got his first two points. That makes it 10 of their last 12 points coming from inside the painted area. Yep, that's something that the defense has to put a stop to. Maybe a defensive adjustment is necessary here. No good for the Vultures. Oh, I'm tired of the misses. And it's At least he missed that. that. What was the defense doing there? I mean, he is not the guy to give an open look to, and yet they got away with it. What a sloppy first, first quarter. quarter. Holy crap. And we're on top, up six. And we'll be back with you for the start of the second quarter when we return. Ugh, I hope the second quarter gets much better than that. And the first quarter is in the books. Second about ready to get underway. And when you consider how Denver is doing, uh, Steve and Clark, what are your thoughts? And they're really keying in on getting as many good shots inside the lane as possible. They're doing a nice job of not just settling for outside looks. Yep, Wrong I agree. button. I mean, they're working it inside and doing it with intention. Come on. Oh, my God. Pass the ball properly. God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Holy crap. Powerful. A low percentage pass, but it, it still nearly got through. I like it though. I mean, it's an aggressive play. Heads up defending reflected away. Quincy Pondexter, he's checked in for Philadelphia. 
by six. And the foul on Dwayne Wade. That's his third foul. Yeah, I hope game. Dwayne Wade gets fouled out. That's the risky run by staying out there as he picks up his third. DeMar DeRozan. He's checked in for Philadelphia. And here's the intentional foul, but you know it's coming here at a very inopportune time. Yeah, that's a bad play there. I mean, that, that can really cost you the game. You've got to be smart when you make those intentional fouls. And Philadelphia making a change here. McGee's checked in. That is not enough coverage. Got to do better than that defensively. Basically, no coverage. I mean, defense did not look very good there. <laughs> Oh, the rapid-fire threes coming from everywhere. I thought it might be a little imprudent to try to get those points right back. Of course my guy can't make the shot. And here we go. Fast break. Wade's got it. Lucas kicks to Wade. Expanding his range. But he recovers it. From downtown. Get the... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Now don't even go for the freaking rebound. And we're now about a minute and a half into the second quarter. Puts up a three. Oh my god! Get the freaking rebound! Drummond passes. Uh, of course he's gonna make it after like ten tries. Lucas has got six points in the quarter. It was a slow start for him, but he started to take off since we hit the second quarter, guys. Here's Rose. My God, Derrick Rose, freaking make the shot! And he gets the bucket. McGee's got his second bucket. My God, I'm trying not to get frustrated, but this game is causing me to get frustrated. Out of bounds, Philadelphia takes possession. Andrew Nicholson, he's checked in for Philadelphia. Jordan comes in for Quincy Bondexter. Oh my God, come on. McGee dishes to DeRozan. They double him with Drummond. Rose kicks to McGee. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's DeRozan. Finally. It's good. This time the assist from Rose. <sighs> DeRozan's got himself on the board with three there. Boy, well, he found the perfect spot behind the arc there. Big gap in the defense. Boy, just a brain cramp, guys. I mean, that should have been the simplest of exchanges. And John Lucas is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul. Here's Jordan. Out to DeRozan. And Lance Stevenson picks up the foul. And for those of you just joining us in the second quarter with about three minutes gone by. Oh my god, can't put it in. Never. Derrick Rose can't make the threes ever. Oh, Derrick Rose is a point guard. He can't make threes. To the paint. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. I can't wait to get rid of Derrick Rose. He can't make crap. At all costs. Yeah, I like that. A foul to save the layup. Make him earn it at the line. And Philadelphia making a change here. Dunleavy's checked in. By six. The drive by Jordan. The three ball. Dunleavy's shot is off. Now Adams. It's stolen by Dunleavy. He feeds it to Rose. Still can't make it. There's the three. Another miss by Philadelphia. Oh my god! Why is everyone missing this freaking shot? I'm so tired of it. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. For Philadelphia, they have shot two free throws and they're one of two so far. That's good from DeRozan. And Philadelphia making a change here. Both free throws good from DeRozan. Dragic with it. Who is outside? One fifty-one left in the first half of the game. 
and the basket by Great. Stevenson. Stevenson's got five. Here it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established great position inside. They're getting the ball in. Wow. Every time down. Force the defense. Oh, I miss every shot. Just do it. I think the lead they've built here, guys, is in large part due to what they've done on the boards. Absolutely. I mean, they have a plus 10 advantage in rebounds, and they've been in total control of the backboards. Marcus Camby sucks. He can't get rebounds at all. Shooting 100% in the quarter. They've, um, they've made them all taking full advantage at the line. Well, it's a nice job of really making the most of their opportunities. Man, a pleasure to watch him work at that end of the floor. We've got 113 left here in the second. Dragic with it. Now guarded by Walters. Johnson attacking. And the rejection by Jordan. And so it looks like Denver will retain possession here. Price is checked in for Philadelphia. It's stolen by Dunleavy. And now Philadelphia on the break. Price is running. And Walters kicks to Walton. The shot misses. Now Who? <laughs> the other way. I've had this Walton forever. He's done absolutely nothing. Johnson for three. Pondexter dishes to Johnson. Over Walton. Of course. Yes. Over the center. Yes. As the game has gone along, they've gotten much more aggressive on the offensive boards. You know, crashing the boards is really an effort thing. It's an attitude and effort thing. And if teams get tired, they usually take a break on crashing the boards. But they've done just the opposite here. And with that, the Denver lead is cut down now to just six points with that basket from Copeland. And here's Johnson outside. And it's Johnson again missing. And it seems like nothing is falling for him this quarter. He's really out of his rhythm. And the shot is good. And now it's just a four-point Denver lead. Now here's Adams. Rockets the pass to Johnson. Another miss by Johnson. My God. <laughs> this game is just really ticking me off. beginning both sides looking to pull away in the last half of the game have to like what we're seeing from Hayward play created a lot of opportunities for himself in the first couple of quarters and I'll tell you what he, he was smart with his shot making too he really took good ones you know points per shot attempted is really one of the undervalued stats in the game and it's a real measurement of efficient scoring and now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade all fueled up and ready to go for the second half of basketball. So on the floor for Denver. Bargnani is up there with Andre Drummond. Then there's Dwayne Wade. Then it's Lance Stevenson. Get the rebound. And it's Hayward in the threesome. Now DeRozan. After Dwayne Wade's three-pointer that didn't go. DeRozan with it. Now defended by Stevenson. And Lance Stevenson picks up the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. Jordan kicks to DeRozan. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. For Philadelphia, they have shot 75% of the line tonight going three for four. And they now lead as the free throw drops for him. Get that. No good on the second free throw. Walton, you, this dude cannot make anything. What, what's the point of him being a center? He can't make any close shots at all. Worthless center. Fires the three. They get the rebound. Oh, took the contact and tried to throw it down over the top. My god, I have the worst freaking guy playing power forward and I have the worst possible center. Bill Walton and Marcus Camby. I gotta get some better, bigger guys. These guys are horrible. They can't get a rebound worth crap. He should be in front right now, but he'll be relieved not to have come up totally empty there. Rose with the ball. Oh, come on, Derek Rose. And now the 
And, oh, Michael Jordan has to be the one to get the rebound. <laughs> oh, my God. And uh, we're about a minute and a half here into the second half. Over to the wing. From beyond the arc. Oh my god, Mark. Nurse gets Cammy gets the rebound and uh he loses the ball anyways. More harm than good. It certainly looks that way for them. They've been cold coming out and have yet to find the bottom of the net. You know what? Michael Jordan as well do everything. And even the foul, I mean, you can't be wrapping guys up like Wow, the Rosen's doing good too, I guess. Him and the Rosen. Michael Jordan and the Rosen. Derek Rose, Marcus Camby, and Bell Walton can't do anything. For three, Hayward. Great. The shot's good on the assist by Wade. Hayward's got 14. He's been one of their more reliable options today, guys. I mean, his shooting has led them to this lead. The drive by Jordan. And something to watch from him, guys, just his hustle defensively. He seems to fly around the court, and he's able to block shots from impossible angles because of that effort. Steve, you got to love a player like that willing to bust his booty the way he does. I mean, he pursues the orange like Ugh. nobody else. Take a look at what Jordan's done. Ten points and a block. I tell you what, he's made his mark on this game in so many ways, guys. Yeah, just on the strength of his defense alone, he would have stood out, but his offense has been outstanding as well. Of course, Marcus Camby's just standing there. He can't do anything. Guys, close one here. No team getting a huge advantage. Yeah, that's exactly right. I mean, there have already been five lead changes, but nobody taking control of it. Great matchup. I mean, these two teams really, really match up well talent-wise. I'm enjoying this. Denver with the ball. Following the miss by DeRozan. They get a hand on it. It's stolen by DeRozan. Why'd he do that? Rejected by oh, my God. <laughs> Holy crap. What is this? A game of errors? Denver in the lead. What are these guys trying to do? Make a comedy? Now, Lucas. These guys are all going to be on Comedy Central the next show. Boy, but he was close, Kevin, to making the defense pay for lackadaisical coverage there. Yeah, he had a really good look. I mean, he'll knock that down more often than not. Really tough to get that shot off with the size differential there. That's not an individual matchup he's going to win every time, especially in the post. Very well done. I didn't think he had any business operating down there with the big fellas. For Philadelphia, they have scored six points from their eight attempts at the line so far. And the first one drops. Some changes for Philadelphia. Chris Copeland comes in for JaVale McGee. And it's Price in for Jordan. By three. Here's Delfino. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. Here's Johnson. And misses it off the right side of the rim. Well, he's building a house with those bricks. I mean, one reason is he keeps trying to force it up when he's defending <clears throat> well. Move the ball. Share the sugar. There's been some slippage defensively here in the second half, Kevin. I mean, I'm not sure if their legs are going or what, but they've given up some easy baskets here. There is no way. No way a player like him can be left wide open like that. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Here's Pondexter. He had a nice open look right there. Oh, so many my gods this game. It's ridiculous. For <laughs> Philadelphia. Right back at you. They immediately get those three points back. Trading punches. That's how you answer. Oh, and here comes I, I just like how I, when I pass it once, it's he passes it again for no reason. Delvino gets to Evans. And he takes the fantastic lead pass up strong for the slam. I'm not even double tapping X, and they do it for no reason. Beautiful transition play after the steal, all the way to the basket. Wasted no time going from defense to offense. It feels like they're starting to pick up the intensity as the game itself starts to get a little more tight and close. 
Here's Walters. Price dishes to Copeland. Back to Price. For three. Very late. How? He grabs the miss. Knocked loose. And now Philadelphia on the break. Oh, Walton makes it finally. The pass was put in just the right spot. Walton's got the lead up to five now for Philadelphia. I'd like to see them go two for one here. I would too. They need to make this a quick possession and a fruitful one too. Bargnani. Shot and game clock separated by five. Here's Walters. And the layup mm -hmm. is good. Now it's a seven point Philadelphia lead. And that's the kind of play you just do not want to give up defensively. You lose the possession and give up a quick two at the other end. That's losing basketball. And especially when you can't afford to give up any buckets. That pushes this lead up instead of going the other way. Really not hard to see why they're giving up points on this run. I mean, they've just given them too many looks inside. Yeah, I mean, they're just getting pounded in there. The defense not offering much resistance. They've got to force the ball back out to the perimeter. So they foul intentionally. This is his first free throw of the game. He hits one and misses one each at the line. And so it looks like Denver will retain possession here. <laughs> Knocks it loose. My God. Ugh. See, if my guys would have actually made it more, then the lead for me would be much bigger than this. By 11. So on the floor for Philadelphia. They've got Walton. Jordan is up there with Walters. I don't know why he tried to do that. I just wanted DeRozan to have it. That stupid thing happened again where he passes as soon as he catches it. Great. Just freaking great. You know, they've got to be careful not to give a shooter of his caliber open looks like that. One or two of those are all it takes to really get him going. One on one fast break. Lead with it. Now guarded by Walton. Drummond in the post. Walton's there. Of course, no one goes for the rebound again. With the jam. Up strong off the offensive rebound. What a play. They can cut this lead down if they start converting more of their second points. I'm with you there. Yeah, but you wonder where were those earlier? They're just hustling more now. <laughs> And he will take the ball right into the teeth of the defense. Three from Stevenson. And it's Dunleavy with the rebound. You know, he just hasn't looked right to me. A bit out of sorts, if you will. Something's off with his mechanics. Well, at least as I look at it. And we'll get a look at how the hustle stats game has been going for Philadelphia. Well, it's been an outstanding game for them in the open court. Their fast break points really stand out. And the other thing they're doing, Clark, is scoring a lot of points off turnovers, forcing mistakes, and cashing in. Marcus Gundy, he's checked in to Gundy. And the basket by Stevenson. Well, they have been terrific from beyond the arc here in the second half. Look at the percentages. Good number for them. Just what the pharmacist prescribed. Those three-point bombs will erase the deficit quickly if they keep it up. Denver passing it around. Kicks it to Wade. Wade, double team. The pass to Stevenson. Back to Wade. And the whistle blows. Ah. Rosen. That'll be his second foul of the game. Rose, he's checked in for Walters. Now into the lineup. Ah. And so it looks like Denver will retain possession here. They're fortunate that one was just deflected and not stolen. Dodged a bullet there. 
Three from Stevenson. And Philadelphia grabs the miss. Camby's got six rebounds in the game. Stolen by the Wade. <laughs> Why does he always get it? He always gets everything back. But if I miss something, they always get it. Just a little under two and a half minutes of pass now here in the fourth. Rose passes to Jordan. What? I was not late there. You know, normally when you it's more than early that time. That's freaking bull crap. So much here today. You're right, Steve. Typically, it is a good barometer that indicates who's winning. Why? Quit doing that. After the mess from Andre Drummond. Oh my God! Seriously? Here's Walton. God, I can't wait to see how many Derrick Rose has actually missed. You know, they're being very one-dimensional right now, going to the post every time. But if it works, you don't need another. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I gotta laugh about that one. Philadelphia with the ball. And here is Jordan. What the freak? How do you miss that? Most of the time, that shot will go down. Boy, the defenders have to make sure they tag it. And Drummond kicks to Hayward. Passed away. Stolen by Rose. Up the floor. And DeMar DeRozan the bucket on the assist by Rose. DeRozan's got the lead up to 11 now for Philadelphia. Pope loose. Drummond with it. Now guarded by Bill Walton. I can never make a long three shot like that. Freaking. I don't care. Everything's falling. Yeah, the touch from downtown is right on point. Doris Burke has some information for us, Doris. Yes, Kevin, during that last break, I heard Jeff Hornacek as he addressed his team. He said, we are this close to finishing them off, but the job is not done yet, and I don't want to see any let up out there. We'll see how well his point got across, guys. Of course. Thank you, Doris. That one is no good. Now, here's Stevenson. He's guarded closer. And it's Wade penetrating. And fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. It's going to go on Bill Walton. Easy call there. No question about that. You can hear the impact from where I am. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. 153 left in the fourth quarter. Rose goes in. No good. Excellent D from Wade. Oh my god, of course you missed that. He is so powerful in the lane. From deep Jordan. And it's Wade with the rebound. Three horrible misses. Let's it go from deep. And again, Denver, no good. DeRozan with it. Wade picks him up. Rose dishes to DeRozan. Yes, and it's Rose with the assist that time. DeRozan's got five points in the quarter. And now just watching the clock wind down in what will turn out to be a win here for Philadelphia. Clark, they simply ran him off the court. It was all about the transition game. Fast break points, the difference. Outside Rose. Michael Jordan on the wing. I'm late, really? Camby kicks to Jordan. And that's out of bounds. Philadelphia will retain possession. And it's a completely new group here for Philadelphia. Bull crap. I didn't even go the ball didn't go backcourt. Stupid. Forty-three seconds left in the fourth quarter. Johnson. Good. This is incredible. It's been a three-point barrage since halftime. Yeah, whether by design or by accident, it has been impressive. And that's out of bounds. Philadelphia will retain possession. 
And Philadelphia will go for a different look here. Walton's checked in for Andrew Nicholson. Hamby comes in for Mike Dunley. Damar DeRozan, he's checked in for Quincy Bondexter. And it's Jordan in for Walters. I don't know why he did that. In the game. And now they decide to foul into Of course! And that hurts as he doesn't get the first one to fall. Trying to focus now on the second. Great. This freaking great. Well, so he is over to that time. Three pointer. Oh my god. Come on, man. Here's Kim. And stolen by Drummond. And here they go. Oh my god, Tom the freak on. We're gonna prolong the game here with an intentional foul. Yeah, no question the right call at this point. You can't let them just dribble it out. That's right. I mean you gotta send them to the line and hope for a few misses. And so he drops them both. It's a four-point ball game. I don't need to tell you guys those free throws are big. It's a two-possession game now. Great, Marcus Camby's horrible at free throws. And that hurts as he doesn't get the first one to fall. Trying to focus now on the second. So he can't get either to fall. Denver calls timeout. Oh, come on. Nine seconds left to play in the final quarter. What's your take, guys? Well, they're drawing up the only thing they can here. Just get off a quick one and then go ahead and foul. I think free throws are going to be front and center the rest of the way here. Denver making a switch here. Rashawn Lewis. John Lucas. Now Drummond. Here's Lucas. A second chance effort. It's in. So it's Oh my god, I gotta call this video. WTF with this game. Well, maybe WTF is up with this game. This is Kevin Holland saying thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time. Last but not least. That game shouldn't have been that hard. I'm just curious. I want to see how many misses my team actually had. Alright, let's check it out. 7 for 13. 6 misses. He had 6. Okay, maybe my guys didn't miss that much. Oh, well, Walton. He was horrible, yes. Derek Rose was horrible. Look at that. 0 for 8. Pathetic. Supposed to be an all-star freaking point guard. He's supposed to help my team well. And almost every game I play with Derrick Rose, he's pretty much like that. Zero percent. Horrible, man. Freaking horrible. I need a new point guard. Derrick Rose is bad.